Have you ever wondered how much force it takes to break a bone? Or maybe you've thought about some of the ways you can make your bones stronger than they naturally are. The good news is that your bones are already extraordinarily strong. To fracture someone's thigh bone, you need a force of 4,000 newtons. To put that into perspective, that's roughly the weight of a sea lion. With a force of 3,300 newtons, you will only have a 25% chance of cracking an average person's rib. When compared ounce for ounce, your bones are stronger than steel. A cubic inch of your bone can bear a load of 8,626 kilograms, or roughly 19,000 pounds. This is about equal to the weight of five pickup trucks, making your bones about four times as strong as concrete. This incredible strength comes from a very clever bone structure. Your bones are mostly made up of two materials. The hard matrix of bone is made of crystals of calcium, phosphate, and other minerals. The minerals make bone hard, while collagen fibers make the bone flexible enough to hold up under stress. This structure allows your bones to be lighter without sacrificing strength so that you can move around easily. But for all their awesomeness, you're still likely to break a bone if you fall from a rooftop. This is because your bones are less dense than metals. Therefore, they can break more easily. This is a good thing though. Imagine if you had a metal framework, you wouldn't be able to move at all. Bone is a living tissue, and like any other part of your body, it needs maintenance. Your age, diet, and lifestyle influence the health of your bones. When it comes to building strong bones, there are two key nutrients, calcium and vitamin D. Calcium supports your bones, while vitamin D improves calcium absorption and bone growth. Most people get their vitamin D through exposure to sunlight, but certain foods like yogurt and milk are fortified with vitamin D. Exercise is good for us in a lot of ways. It helps cut the pounds, increases cardiovascular health, adds muscle mass, and can boost our mood. A less celebrated benefit of exercise is that it helps keep our bones strong too. One study comparing bone density in college women with various body weights and activity levels found that athletes with low body weight had the highest bone density of any group in the study. A low protein intake can lead to bone loss, while a high protein intake can help protect bone health as you age. In a one-year study, women who consumed 86 grams of protein daily on a calorie-restricted diet lost less bone mass from their arms, spine, hips, and leg areas than women who consumed 60 grams of protein per day. Caffeine does have some health benefits, but unfortunately not for our bones. Too much of it can interfere with the body's ability to absorb calcium. One study showed that drinking more than two cups of coffee per day accelerated bone loss in subjects who also didn't consume enough calcium. Genetics play a large role in bone density. People who have a family history of bone breaks or bone diseases are at a greater risk of developing such diseases. While you can't change your family history, knowing it can help you work better with what you've got.